The three-day-long impasse at the Holy Hazardbal Shrine in Srinagar ended this week when armed militants holed up in the shrine vacated it after hectic negotiations between them and the state administration. Earlier, a faction of the JKLF had tried to enter Hazardbal with arms and ammunitions, which led to a fierce gun battle with the security forces in the shrine complex on Sunday. After the militants had left the shrine, the holy relic was purified as members of the Muslim Okaf board, the managing body of the shrine, cleaned the area before throwing it open to the... The ambitious Surajya Yatra of the BJP president, Mr. L.K. Ardwani, reached the capital last week, cutting short its earlier schedule ostensibly to allow the party's central leadership to concentrate on the more crucial job of selecting candidates for the forthcoming general elections. As ticket aspirants thronged the party office from all parts of the country, the election committee meeting of the senior leaders of the party worked out the first list of candidates. This list of 272 names for the Lok Sabha in 17 states was later released at a crowded press conference by the party's general secretary, Mr. Pramod Mahajan. The BJP, which already had an alliance with the Shiv Sena in Maharashtra, also announced an electoral pact in Haryana with Bansi Lal's Haryana Vikas Party. After months of dithering, vacillation and speculation, the bonhomme between two ace Yadav leaders, Mr. Mulayam Singh of the Samajwadi Party and Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav of the Janata Dal, was more than evident when they finally clinched an electoral tie-up for the Lok Sabha polls in Uttar Pradesh. Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav, however, once again proved his political hold in Uttar Pradesh by conceding only 16 seats out of a total of 85 Lok Sabha seats in UP to the Janata Dal. The major chunk of the seats that the Samajwadi Party has retained for itself will be contested by it in conjunction with the left parties and a rebel faction of the Bahujan Samaj Party. However, in Bihar and other states, the Janata Dal will go to the polls without any truck with the Samajwadi Party. Observers believe that pressure from the left front was instrumental in forging the JD-SP alliance, as initially the Janata Dal leadership was divided over the issue, with the Lalu Sharad Yadav duo inclined to woo the Kashi Ram-led Bahujan Samaj Party as well into the alliance. The need of the hour is that the power is united, one is united. The power is not going to be able to do anything. Our national front, left front, is our understanding. तो राय विचार तो करने पड़ते हैं सबको सबको कॉन्फिडेंस वाले के चलना पड़ता है। Meanwhile, the Indira Congress leader, Mr. Arjun Singh, also met with Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav to discuss seat adjustments between their two parties in various states, particularly Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan.